Hi everybody, this is DJ Serena from The Squeak Factor, here with Cody of Hinder. How are you? I'm doing great, how are you? I'm fucking fantastic. I'm really, really pleased to meet you. Well, likewise, thank you. Uh, last time we caught up with you was actually at Moondance Jam last year, um, which was a phenomenal show, mind you, and the Maddie Rocks experience last year. What's been going on since? Oh man, there's been a lot going on since. Um, I mean, mainly we've just been we've been touring and, and you know trying to trying to push the new record as much as we can. I mean, we've had a had a lot of interesting events happen um, over this summer. Um, you know, with with our singer leaving and then you know a bus accident, and as a result of that, Blower had to have reconstructive surgery on his face. And um, but through all that, you know, we're we're still here, still rocking it. Fans are loving the show, and that's that's the most important thing. Yeah, I was actually I'm um, gonna ask you about that later about Blower and how Joey's doing. Yeah, he's doing good, man. He did he he uh, you know got a surgery take uh, you know done really quick you know he, he wanted to make sure we didn't have to cancel mm -hmm. you know any shows so it was good so um your current tour is a very a very packed schedule and fill us in on how long this one's been going on uh how long it's gonna last um just tell us more um we've been on this run for shit i don't know probably three weeks now we got another mm -hmm. three or four weeks left so um yeah we've, we've played a lot of dates it's been it's been really cool we're doing this tour with candlebox and devour the day and a new band out of la called open air stereo and they're pretty awesome too so um this has been uh it's been a lot of fun so far and uh, we're looking forward to the rest of it to kind of circle back about joel and, and the accident in july um and not missing any tour dates you guys have all just kind of like really bonded and made sure that everything was okay with that yeah yeah we have i mean that's that's the cool thing about about this band especially you know um with everything that's happened i mean it's not like we weren't tight before but um you know especially the, the four of us have been you know just become like tighter than ever you know so um you know we definitely take care of each other that's for sure that's that's definitely something that i read um when I was taking a look about everything that you guys are, you know, from Oklahoma and um, just kind of like very bonded down to your roots and stuff like that and just brothers, yeah, in a sense. Yeah, I mean, I think that's how, I mean, that's that's how, that's the only way a band can succeed, I think, you know. Mm -hmm. um, it's very important, you know, for a band to be on the same page. Um, you know, that's the only way to succeed, I think. Now, on a side note, has Joel recovered from the Nickelback tour incident? Which one would that be? And are you saying mentally or physically? Um, however you care to comment on well, uh, the, on, on the burning oh, or lighting things on fire. Uh, we we light things on fire and burn a lot of things a lot. So, um, yeah, he he recovers physically very well. Mentally, I don't know that that's the case, but that's okay. <laughs> <laughs> Okay, so, uh, hey, just kind of moving forward, uh, let's talk about Welcome to the Freak Show. Um, I read how this is a very, very personal album for everybody and covers some real things. Can you elaborate on that? Um, you know, I think all of our albums are, are you know, very personal. You know, we, that's kind of how we write. We've always written from personal experiences. So, um, but for me personally, um, you know, this was the, the first record that... Um, Marshall and I um, got to produce, you know, in our, our production company, Backlounge Productions. So, first one that we got to do by ourselves. So, that was uh, pretty cool. It's a pretty special album for me. Awesome. Um, you said that you all get along so well because you're five or four dudes from Oklahoma who like to have a good time. Um, do you think that a cathartic album like The Freak Show bonds you guys even tighter? Um, yeah, I think so. I mean, you know, there were a lot of a lot of calls that were made, I guess, from, you know, myself and Marshall as, you know, from a production standpoint um, that were very, very different. And, you know, to know that the band was behind us in every decision we ever made, you know, um, was, was pretty cool to me, you know what I mean? I, that, I think that that's pretty special in a band, you know, for, for guys to just kind of have so much trust and kind of go with the flow that's pretty awesome um okay so i guess my next question would be uh with trust and just like bonding and um, what do you guys do like just to kind of have like a bond like bonding type like rap session just to you know get back to get back to your roots like every so often just like after like a big tour um 
I don't know. We don't really do anything out of the ordinary, really. I mean, we uh, we all live, you know, within ten minutes of each other. So when we're at home, you know, we're always, you know, hanging out, going to going to dinner, going to bars, mostly going to bars. <laughs> Uh, <laughs> so I mean, we're always somebody's always having a party or something. So we're 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 together quite a bit at home too. Um, back to I guess back to the music half of everything. Um, like for each of you, if you want to speak on everybody or you want to speak for yourself, what songs do you enjoy performing at most of your shows? Um, it kind of I don't know. I think we kind of just all go back and forth. I, I think. Um, you know, All American Nightmare is a favorite. Um, Get Stoned is always fun because the crowd goes ape shit. That's great. Um, I don't know. See You in Hell is a good one. I don't, we have there's there are a lot of them that are that are fun. So I think everybody's all over the map, and it just kind of depends from night night to night. Um, I definitely have to say that uh, All American Nightmare um, and Two Sides of Me um, and. Um, Sometimes it depends on ladies come first or see you in hell. Would end up in my t would end up in my two hour tour every week. Um, I love you guys, so I'm very gonna say that out loud. <laughs> um, a friend of ours, Dan Wall from Classic Rock Revisited, said that Hinder is a band that exemplifies how these newer and younger bands get it in regards to how they interact with their with and treat their fans based on what you've experienced in your climb to successes and you've achieved how do you see hinder as different in that regard um well i mean i don't know i don't know if we're different i don't really know how other bands operate you know as far as their fans and all that but um you know we recognize that without our fans we wouldn't be able to do this um you know they're the ones that are that are supporting us and and you know like i said without them we wouldn't be here so it's important I can. I definitely agree with that. Um, I guess um, maybe switching gears a moment. Give us a glimpse of yourself outside of Hinder. Family. Um, I am married. I have no children. I have three dogs, um, and I spend the majority of my time um, probably in the studio. Um, you know, I've got a studio at the house, like I said. And Marshall and I do a lot of recording and writing and. Um, you know, so it's it's mostly music all the time. We've got another, you know, side project that we we always work on and stuff. Just playing country music for fun, and um, so with that. yeah, it's a pretty cool project. Um, you can hear some of it on on Sirius XM. It's a little project called Drink More, and uh, Mike and uh, Blower are playing in it uh, with us as well. So we're having a lot of fun with that. Um, but yeah, outside of outside of Hinder, my life is still mostly music. Uh. What's your favorite food? My favorite food, uh, wing, chicken wings. Very nice. Yeah. Um, and you know, I noted that you, grown up, um, learned a lot of stuff of uh, Nirvana, um, and then Metallica's Black Album. Uh, any other favorite bands? Um, growing up, I was all over the map. Um, you know, actually. Buddy Holly was one of my favorites growing up. Then I got into really got into Jimi Hendrix for a while. Um, then Bad Company, then Metallica, then Pantera. Then you know started getting into to country, and then I got into rap for a while. And then so I've, I'm kind of all over the place. There's nothing wrong with that. It's all mine. <laughs> right on. Um, and I guess like my next question would be: As in high school, did you ever imagine yourself getting here? Uh, no, actually. Um, you know, I was. In high school, I had actually kind of stopped playing the drums besides, you know, some, some marching band things here and there. So, um, for me, you know, even whenever I went, started in college, I mean, you know, music really wasn't, I don't know, it wasn't part of the plan. No, I read that um, in college you were going for business management. Oh, uh, yeah. Yeah, I was a marketing major. And then uh, Blower and I met, and then, uh, you know, I don't know probably th a couple months after we met I think you know we formed the band and you know that's when everything kind of started started getting serious again about music and um, that was the first time I had started to play the drums it was the first time we did our first practice or jam session just for fun so um, yeah but you know when, the, when we first started the band it became for me it became more of a business thing you know just kind of like a, a challenge to see if I could figure it out but uh, you know definitely you know 
obviously it's kind of evolved into more than that for me so okay so here's a couple of fun questions um one of our other djs uh, and i were talking because he was wanting to make sure that i had my head clear before we came down here to meet you and he's like you know what here's a couple questions you can ask he said boxers or briefs and why uh boxers or briefs uh boxer briefs and i have no idea why just because uh, well wicked now you have your answer <laughs> Uh, our boss, Lock Harlan, um, actually said, Do you, uh, desire or dread hinder ever appearing on South Park? Oh, desire for sure, man, on that the South Park thing. That'd be amazing. Um, we get made fun of all the time for all kinds of shit, so it'd be really cool to see it done on a TV show. <laughs> um, and I also read something about you were born in Texas? I was born in Plano, Texas, yes, but... Uh, being from Oklahoma, I can't claim that. Gotcha. You did move there when you were one. Right, I did. I did. Um, and so I guess that would kind of uh, make me want to ask if you would possibly think would be Texas or Oklahoma be a little bit more redneck? Ooh, that's a tough one. Um, I don't know. I mean, I think they're they're pretty much the same. I mean, there's Texas is a lot bigger, so there are a lot more small towns to be more redneck. So... Maybe we'll go with that one. Fair enough. I totally agree. Um, okay, so we did bring you a, a pink headband because we noted we also saw that you like have your head bandanas and so forth. Now, um, a, a current question would be: Is do you need Duck Dynasty headbands? No, I man, I haven't really been following this Duck Dynasty thing to be honest, man. I tried to watch one episode and it seemed a little too scripted for me, so. I don't know. It just seemed a little unrealistic. So I'm not. I'm not a, like involved in the whole Duck Dynasty craze. Um. Do you want to turn the tables and ask us some questions? You can totally put us under under the grill. Um. I don't know. Who's your? What's your favorite band? Top ten or favorite top five? That's. I, I can. If somebody asks me that question, I can even do it. Um, I, give I, me top five. Top five. You guys. Adelita's way. Slipknot. Pantera. Hailstorm for sure. Now, is it because you like Hailstorm's music or because you think Lizzie Hale's hot? Uh, there's a couple songs I relate to. And you think she's hot? She's got cool vocals. Answer the question. Answer the question. No. <laughs> <laughs> Not at all. Alright, well, I'm sure she'll be disappointed to hear that. I know, but you know what? She's got a set of vocal cords, man. So, and there's she's a got a set of a couple things. <laughs> I love her. I'm just kidding. She's cool. And hot. <laughs> <laughs> um, so, I guess, uh, I guess we're going to wrap things up here. Um, okay, so you heard it here with Cody of Hinder. Um, best wishes and continued success for all of you. Thank you very, very much for having us here tonight. Thanks to, to all our fans that have, uh, you know, come out to all the shows, you know, this summer and fall. I know there's been a lot of stuff happening. And, uh, you know, it really means a lot to us to know that we have, like, super supportive fans that will, you know, be there for us no matter what. Um, you know, we'll continue to be there if you will. So thanks to everybody. And happy birthday, Mark. Oh, I'll be sure to tell him that. Thank you.